Hi, welcome back again. Uh, in this segment, we'll be focusing on how do you design your professional schedule as a self-employed. Instead of serving your clients based on their convenience, you know, as a professional with professional dignity, you choose to serve them based on your schedule. Right, so how do you do that? Right, if you don't take control of your time, you have no control of your life. Why do I say that? Because your time is the sum of the remaining time you have on earth. So that's a representation of your life, right? So manage your time, take charge of your future, you know. And for that reason, I would like you to direct you to designing your schedule right now. Perhaps you already have some kind of a uh, timetable or schedule that you work on, feel free you know, to put that aside, use it as a reference, but uh, stay focused on going through this activity together because I have, I'm doing it with a, the, the slight twist. Okay, now, uh, the, this is a sample of my own schedule uh, back when I was in my early 30s. When I was a manager, I was running a team. Uh, I was also running my sales concurrently. So I had to have the, the balance act, juggling both responsibility at the same time. Okay, I'd like to direct you to the, this blank page first, yeah? Okay, the first thing first, what I'd love you to do is this. Now, <clears throat> understand that there are different category of uh, activities, right? From the high priority activities, which are all your business activities, to uh, lower, uh, medium priority activities like your client relationship, servicing, you know, admin, paperwork, etc. follow up, right? Uh, to your personal matters, things that are important to you, to your family, it could be your well-being, the fun, right? Those are under the personal matters. Then of course you have um, the self-development and training, right? Uh, you do not want to be, you know, blindly chasing after uh, sales and neglect your need to upgrade yourself, right? So no point going to the forest to chop down trees after trees when your axe is blunt. You need to sharpen your your axe from time to time, right? <clears throat> Which is why, how do we put all this together? Now, first thing first, what I'd love to tell you this is, is this. I want you to focus on, on me right now. <clears throat> My friends, there is a significant advantage being self-employed, being an entrepreneur versus uh, being a typical employee, all right? Uh, there are people I work with, uh, I, I, they are technically employees by status, all right, in terms of the fixed salary, the CPF, the et cetera, but, uh, or your, we call it the provident fund, right? But uh, in reality, they work like entrepreneurs, they, they treat this as their own business, they, have their, they manage their own time, there's no time cut to punch in or punch out, you know, we work with full flexibility and uh, you know, with total trust, right? So. For, for people like that, you uh, you have a different uh, uh, way of running your schedule. Let me be upfront with you. Typical employees, they have to design their personal life to accommodate their work life. As an entrepreneur, as an entrepreneur or intrapreneur, I call it, right? You get to design your work life around your personal life. Cool, right? So, which is why the first thing we want you to do is put in all the things that are meaningful to you and your loved ones. So, for example, if you are a Christian and having that once a week cell group is important to you on a weekday, block it out. If uh, going to the church or for Muslim, going to the mosque on a Friday is important to you, block it out. If uh, your aging uh, parent needs uh, uh, your care and concern, right? You don't want to regret when your, your parents were to pass on one day that you didn't spend enough time with them. Then you know what? Block it out. If uh, having a once a week uh, dinner with your loved ones is important, block it out. Can okay? you even need to have some me time uh, to pursue your passion. It could be playing football, golf, uh, badminton, block it out. Okay, ready? So quickly, all right, I want you to pause this video and take the next two minutes to quickly put aside time for all these activities. We cannot create more time, but you know, instead of finding time, we make time. This is called time blocking. Okay, block it out. Anything that's important to you, block it out. They know no work only your personal matters, okay? What's meaningful to you, okay? Pause this video right now and get this complete. Third, let's go.
Okay? So, okay, you're back. So now that you have put in all the activities that are meaningful to you and your loved ones, now the next thing is, with the remaining time, are you willing to work? More than willing, isn't it? Because now, you know, rather than, you know, feeling guilty when you're working because you don't spend enough time with your, your, your family, you know, or you feel lousy when you're with your family, you're thinking about work because you have lots of tasks that's not completed, you know, you have, uh, you're unable to bring money home, you still owe your clients things, paperwork are not completed, etc. right? You're forever flustered and not centered, right? So now that you have put aside time, all right, for all your family, personal matter, now you are more willing to focus on work. So with the remaining time you have, okay, the immediate thing to do is to put aside all your compulsory agency uh, company activities. Now, if you, uh, if you want the team to be there for you, then you need to be there for the team when they need you. Fair enough, right? So any weekly team meetings, right? If you have a weekly case study, all right, if you have weekly coaching, you have weekly training, block it out. Block it out. Do you have a, a weekly agency calling session uh, to fix appointment? If, uh, if uh, then yes, block it out. All right, if you're not the kind that this self-discipline to fix all your appointment a week in advance by yourself, you need some kind of peer support, find a group of people to make phone call together, to WhatsApp together. You can uh, do it either in person, physically, or you can actually set up a WhatsApp group, silent the, the uh, no, uh, you can also create a Zoom Zoom call. Everybody log in, you can silent the, the Zoom session, and you can make your phone call or fix appointment, and every appointment you fix, you update the, the Zoom, so that everybody is energized, everyone is focused, you know, if you were to suffer, you suffer together, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. So you got idea? So all your, all your, so if you look, look at my example, right? So uh, when I was running a, a, an agency, when I was doing my sales, uh, you can see that uh, for, for the morning, between 8.30 to 11.30, uh, is the time I devoted to fulfill my agency leader role. From organ running and um, meet up with my managers, uh, 8, 8 30 in the morning uh, to having a team meeting at 9 15 all right uh, it ends at uh, about 9 11 30 all right so that's monday tuesday thursday and saturday i block it out for uh we call it the ftp stands for foundational training program where i train all the new advisors uh, together with my managers to make sure that um, they are they have a solid foundation okay and wednesday and friday i also block out time for coaching case study with existing advisors so i take care of both the new as well as the existing advisors okay but bear in mind as i said earlier i don't serve them according to their convenience i serve them according to my own schedule right i block out time for them so they can't accuse me for not giving them time you got it so from 11 30 to 12 normally i have to approve cases well, to make sure that I can submit the case on time. So from 12 onwards, typically uh, I will have lunch either uh, when I need time to space out to think, I will have lunch with myself, right? Uh, if I have, a, I may have lunch appointment with my clients as well, I may have lunch appointment also with um, business partners, etc. So it's very flexible. So I've got time block out for lunch. Okay, I also have a, uh, agency uh, weekly calling session that started off with me being involved subsequently was managed by my managers and even eventually it's uh, also run, co run by by what we call the focus group or mastermind group with the peers okay with peer accountability right so I have a Monday and Wednesday block out for weekly calling right and uh, in case they don't they are unable to pack their schedule in advance by Wednesday they come back on Friday all right on their own to continue uh, make up calling until they have successfully packed the entire week in advance. So this is simple, but it's highly effective as a system, okay? Yeah, so with that, right, uh, every remaining hours that I have uh, can be used for appointments. Now, I decided not to work beyond 10 p.m. because by the time I reach home, I'll be tired, I need to shower, I need time to, to rest. So in order for me not to sabotage my next day, I need to reach home before 10 or latest 10.30 so that I have time to wind down and have a good rest. All right, so that I, I'm, I'm alert for my appointments in the following day. So you see, you, you plan out your schedule accordingly. All right, so the 
If you have no question, what I'd like you to do again, put aside another two minutes or three minutes, okay, and put in all the number of uh, work activities uh, in there. All right, if you need to block out time to do paperwork, put it in. If you need to have time to read, you know, once a week, all right, do a book review, block it out. If these days you need to put aside time to do social media content, right? For me, like, I've not been very active in social media, but recently, you know, I suddenly developed uh, the, the desire, you know, finally I overcome my own uh, mental barrier to be more active in social media and uh, block out time with my colleagues and also have to block out time with myself to design content to be recorded on a weekly basis, right? So that I can build up my inventory of uh, social media marketing content uh, one, two months in advance, right? So things like that, okay? You gotta block out time, okay? So whatever is important to you in your business, block it out right now. Let's go. Okay, so now that you're done, all right, I want you to calculate, right? Assuming if each appointment is about one and a half hour to max two hours, how many appointment slots, maximum appointment slots can you find in your schedule? So in my case, look at that. Monday, I have time, I have one and a half hour slot between 11.30 to one. I have another lunch appointment slot from one to 2.30. Uh, this may be a bit tight for doing a complete full fact find kind of uh, appointment. These are time I normally put aside for what? For reviews, all right? For very simple single need reviews where the client uh, already know what he wants. I have the budget in mind. I've in fact prepared something for the client. So it's a very quick, simple transaction. Alternatively, I also put aside time for uh, client relationship building as well. Uh, so these are so these are possible slots. Doesn't mean I have two lunch appointments every day, but by put doing it this way, I'm very clear with how many slots I have. So technically, if you look at Monday to Saturday, look at it, Monday to Saturday, uh, I have a possible maximum slot of 12 slots, just for lunch alone, all right? Then if you look at uh, Monday again, uh, in the evening, all right, weekly calling is compulsory, so I'm not gonna make appointments there. I have uh, one slot for evening appointment between 5.30 to 8 around that period, I will have one. Between 8 to 10, if I choose to be extremely hardworking that day, I can have two evening back-to-back -back appointments. Uh, it's either in the same area or, or it's in my office. Okay, so technically in, on Monday itself, I have a maximum possible slot of four appointments. Again, doesn't mean I will have four appointments on Monday but these are four maximum appointments. So if I want to limit to only three appointments max on Monday, right? if I have two lunches and I have my evening appointment, one appointment fixed, I can choose to rest early that day. You got me? So on Tuesday, I have uh, two lunch appointments. I've got a possible slot for afternoon appointment and two evening appointments. One, two, three, four, five. So if I choose to be extremely focused and actually hardworking on Tuesday, I've got five maximum slot on Tuesday. So on and so forth. Now, so what I do is I, I need you to make a decision for yourself. How many appointments do you want to come into every single week? If you intend to, most advisors are very comfortable with minimum two. Uh, to three appointments per day, 10 to 15 appointments per week. And based on my illustration, you know, you many of you can achieve far more than simply just MDRT, even COT or TOT, you know, by having 10 to 15 appointments per week, even though you don't have a very huge case size, it is possible, okay? You're never overworking to get this result. You just have to be structured in your in your work that's all right so uh with the next technique i want to guide you on is how do you condense your day and compress your week what do i mean by condense your day and compress your week very simply now uh end of the day are you here to clock hours or is it based on appointments the answer is very clear right and our day is about how how effective you are with the appointments you have has nothing to do with how many hours you appear to be working. You can be dressed up in the morning for work at 8 a.m. and you reach home by 12 a.m. every day. But another day, if you only have one appointment, sorry, <laughs> you're not gonna make a lot of money, right? 
So it's about how many appointments you have. So imagine if you only want to have 10 appointments, is it possible that I work hard on Monday, I have four appointments, or I can work hard on Tuesday, I got five appointments. Okay, I mean five might be a bit too, too hard for most people. Okay, four appointments. By Wednesday, you know, I have another four, uh, two appointments. So I have 10 appointments by Wednesday. So if I choose to, can I work hard for three days? And I can leave my Thursday, Friday flexible. This call, compressing your week so you 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 work hard for uh, a shorter period a shorter number of days you know rather than spreading it out similarly rather than having one appointment in the morning and uh, the afternoon you do nothing and another appointment is at 8 p.m you know you 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 have to wait for your appointment in between it's quite tiring isn't it yeah so aim to pack all your appointments tightly accordingly that way you can work more effectively you have more time to work, you got more time to play, you got more time to rest. Okay, so this is my tip for you to be more productive in your schedule. I look forward to see you in my next video.